Welcome to this, the sixth video in the data-driven testing series, Parameters. Parameters can be considered a data source with only one row, i.e. the simplest kind of data source. They are useful for keeping modules reusable and tests maintainable. They also allow you to pass variable values from one recording module to another. Parameters are added in the test suite view in an items properties dialog. You can add parameters to the test suite item, which are global parameters, or test containers, which are local parameters. Consider a typical AUT that offers different functions. It presents these functions on different screens that users access through the UI. For example, there are several tabs in the Renerik Studio demo application, each offering a different functionality. But we always begin by opening the AUT and selecting the tab. We can use variables and parameters to do this. We begin by defining the variable. Double click on the start AUT recording module. Select the mouse click and use the context menu. Make repository item variable. Enter the name, in this case select register. Close and save. We now need to bind the variable. Use the context menu and data binding. Name the parameter, insert the exact value and select select register. Apply and OK. Repeat this for the second test case, this time giving the value of test database. When we run the test we see that Renerex Studio selects the appropriate tab for each test case. We can also pass values across modules. A simple solution with all that you will need to do so is available in the user guide a link to which can be found in this video's description. In our example test, we will enter a number of persons into the database. With each entry, a counter showing the number of entries will increase. We want to log the total number of entries to the report. The initial test suite has the following sections. The setup, which starts the demo app and clicks the database register. The first six recording modules add the entries from a data source in the database, as explained in the previous videos in the series. The recording module getDBCounter will extract the counter value and write it to a variable. The recording module writeMaxCounterToReport will log the counter value to the report. The teardown closes the AUT. We must first extract the value and write it to a new variable. To begin, we open the recording module getDBCounter, then add a getValue action. Link this to the repository item dbCounter. Create a new variable named varCounter and enter the default value of 0. Close and save. We now need to log the count value to the report. Open the recording module, write max count to report, and add a new log message. Click as new variable and name the variable var write counter. Set the default value to zero, click close, and save. To create a transfer parameter, we click on the test suite and use the context menu and global parameter. Name it and press OK. Finally, we must link variables to the parameter. Right mouse click on the add person to db test case and data binding. Then bind the parameter to the var counter variable click apply 
and OK. Repeat this for the second unbound variable. This time using the VAR write count variable. When we run the test, we see that the value has been passed between test containers and the count value is logged to the report correctly. In the next video in the Renerec Studio data-driven series, we will learn how to use conditions and rules.